I'm Josh Miller, Vice President of Sales at Keystone RV Company, and I'm here with Jeff Snyder, our Director of Engineering. We are here with one of our awesome fifth wheel frames, and Jeff and I are going to talk to you about a couple of the cool things that we do on our frames today. Um, I think the best place to start whenever you talk about any of our frames is all the work that Jeff's team does. Each one of our frames is specifically engineered for the specific floor plan that we're developing. We don't leave anything to chance and we don't let the frame manufacturer dictate to us where we want to put any of the tanks or anything like that. So what are some of the things that we're trying to accomplish in the way that we engineer the frames like that, Jeff? Uh, weight distribution, the main thing. Uh, we want to make sure that it's safe to tow. Um, so that means the axles um, to be located in the right place, the, the uh, freshwater tanks to be lo located in the right place, those kinds of things. This has the potential to be a really big fifth wheel. The placement of those tanks and everything is going to drastically um, affect the way that the unit tows. So we want to take the customer's towing experience into the utmost um, respect as we're developing that frame. So the foundation of every RV we build at Keystone RV is, is the frame. So when you're talking about our frames, I think you need to start with the style of I-beam that we use, which is a rolled I-beam. Um, can you walk us through exactly what that means, Jeff? A rolled I-beam is, is formed or extruded all in one piece as opposed to, say, a welded I-beam, for instance, okay. where the top and the bottom flanges are welded to the web. Um, so it's all one piece formed. Yeah. Well, you can see here that we've got kind of a smooth joint because there really is no joint. It, right. it was rolled all as one solid piece. Right. Um, I would guess that that means that there's less fatigue, less chance for... for right. There's no welds, so that it's all extruded. It's all one monolithic beam. Yeah, that's cool. Peace of mind for the customers. The other thing in conjunction with the I-beams that we use is we use full width outriggers. So the outriggers that support the floor, they go all the way to the edge of the floor. That's not always common, but there's some pretty good benefits to it, isn't there, Jeff? Sure, yeah, that, that, the outrigger being all the way to the edge of the floor supports the sidewall and the weight of the roof and all the weight of the units comes, comes down on these outriggers here, which transfers the load down to the I-beam. Yeah. The, these are um, these are big RVs potentially, and they have to go down the road. So anything we can do to make this um, foundation as rock solid as possible, that's what Jeff and his team are going to do. I think next we want to talk about the stamp steel cross members, but let's go to the other side and get a better look. So the foundation of our RV construction is going to be the powder coated rolled I beam frame. But equally as important is the cross members that we use down the length of the coach to add some rigidity to it. Um, now, the way that we do it is a little different than most people, isn't it, Jeff? That's right. Um, a lot of people use a welded rod and angle cross member, where we're using a stamped steel cross member um, that we helped uh, the frame manufacturer develop. So what are some of the benefits to, to what we design? Okay, so it's a, it's a repeatable um, cross member because it's machine stamped and formed. Um, some of the uh, features of this are that the uh, openings are rolled over so that wire coming through will not chafe on it. Mm -hmm. um, we got other openings in here for water lines or whatever we might need in here and it's lighter weight. Yeah. Well, the, the weight's really cool because we're trying to do everything to maximize the towing experience for our customers. So anything we can do to take weight out is going to help with that. The other thing, Jeff, that you talked about, which is this, this rolled edge for the wires. You know, as you were telling me that, I could just imagine going down the road, those wires right. wanting to rub against there. And the fact that this is a nice, smooth surface is going to mean that these wires aren't going to be fatigued over time. Jeff's team designs every single frame for each individual floor plan that we build. And like we talked about, that includes giving placement for each one of the tanks. That's important for towability because we want to maximize where the load is. But the tanks themselves have some pretty cool things attached to them because we never want to have issues with our tanks. The materials we use in the tanks, the way we attach them, we've got some advantages pretty much all around these tanks, don't we, Jeff? Right. Uh, starting with what the tanks are, how the tanks are made. Um, these are rotocast tanks as opposed to a ABS uh, two-piece tank that has a lid glued to the top of it. Um, so this tank is roto, roto cast. there's no seams, there's no glue on it. Even the rubber fittings that are put into the tank um, are put in uh, so that they are flex with the frame when the, when the tank fills and empties. This will flex and allow that um, to move without breaking the pipe. The other thing we do here is because these tanks, when they fill up, they'll expand. Um, this is a this is a basement area here, storage, pass-through storage, and we put these big heavy steel straps across the tank to keep them from billowing up 
which would might push your floor up in your pass through storage. That makes a ton of sense. So for people that haven't seen one of these get filled, that tank, like Jeff said, is gonna expand and contract as it fills with water. But also in addition to that, as it goes down the road, if your customers are gonna travel with any liquids in their tanks, there's gonna be a tremendous amount of weight there. So the fact that this is one, one piece tank and it's not seamed together gives me the peace of mind that uh, we know that customers wanna have. These fittings are really cool because Again, as they expand and contract as they go down the road or they fill, um, that's a trouble point for customers. Right. And then the strap, what a peace of mind just to keep that tank in place. So very well done. Let's talk max turn technology. So one of the biggest concerns that, that fifth wheel towers have is that if they turn too far, they get a contact point off their back windshield in the corner of the, uh, the fifth wheel front cap. So it's super important to be able to get that contact point, which is the corner over there by Jeff, as far back as possible. And we've done that with some patented technology that Jeff and his team worked on. Jeff, walk us through what you did with the Max Turn technology. Okay, so other manufacturers have this, this same sort of shape, only they accomplish it by cutting and welding the tubes together to form this turn. This is a one-piece tube that we bend, and as you said, it's patented technology. We bend it so that there are no welds in here that gives us a much stronger header tube than, than we would have if we had welds in there. Okay, so we're, we've got the rolled tube which is gonna get that contact back. How far back do you think we get it from a straight tube? It's right around eight inches okay. of difference. So if this front tube was straight, we would see it go straight across and you'd be eight inches further back with our max turn technology. That's cool, because like I said, that allows customers to turn a little bit more and have the peace of mind that they're not gonna take out their back windshield. The other thing it does is, uh, just from an aesthetics and aerodynamic standpoint, when you see a Keystone front cap that utilizes the Max Turn technology, the corners of that front cap are gonna rake back, it's gonna look more aerodynamic and just have a, a much sleeker look as it goes down the road. So, very cool, Jeff. Mm -hmm.